What's going on guys? It's about two minutes after I just recorded that Beatles video and I realized I did not put a single copy of Abbey Road in that video. Um, it's probably in my other listening room, um, but I just wanted to mention that I do have that and that was supposed to be in the video. Um, but like I said, I'm still collecting Beatles stuff. Um, so anyway, just wanted to interlude that, that there is a Abbey Road copy that was not accounted for. But anyway, guys, here's the video. What's going on, Vinyl Community? It's Wes from Psych Rock Live, back with another video. Uh, today, I have an awesome video. I've been so excited to make this. Um, I've been thinking about it the past few weeks. Um, but it's going to be quite a long video because I have a lot of stuff to show. Um, but it is my entire Beatles collection. That's what we're going to be covering today. We're going to be talking nothing but the Beatles. Beatles, one of my favorite bands of all time. I think most people on here would say that. Uh, we're going to get right into it. It could be a pretty long video because I do have quite a lot of Beatles uh, in my collection, probably more than any other artist. Um, some new, some old, some whatever, some collectibles, some blah, 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 some bootlegs. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, none of these are in chronological order, so we're kind of just going to be going at random. Um, but I went ahead and pulled them all out. You can see that big gap in my shelf there. It's because I took all my Beatles out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start it up. And the first album I got to pick here is a beautiful copy of uh, Beatles for Sale. I just got this. This is one of the last UK albums that I need. It is absolutely unbelievable. I got to get it into a sleeve. I hardly ever see records this glossy. But man, is this just a brilliant copy. I mean, honestly, it is a new press, maybe 2014, 2018, uh, Parlophone Stereo Press of Beatles for Sale. Absolutely wonderful on the original kind of Parlophone label. Um, this is actually a Canadian press. I remember cataloging it. Um, and I couldn't find the Canadian press. Let me try to pull it out here and show you quick. Um, I, I don't really know what's up with this. I bought this on Amazon, and um, the jacket says made and printed in the USA, but then, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right at the bottom there, it says made in Canada. Um, I could not find the pressing on Discogs, but nonetheless, it is an absolutely beautiful pressing of this album. Uh, I've never seen an original in the wild. I hardly ever see any, you know, UK Beatles in the wild for that matter, but you know, just to have something this nice in your collection is just unbelievable. Uh, love this. Maybe one of my least favorite Beatles albums. Uh, it's hard to rank with such good albums, you know, it's the Beatles, so how bad could it really be? But um, I don't know, maybe my least favorite, but man, such a good album still. Next one we got is um, Similar Notion. This is the 2014 mono repress of Sgt. Pepper's. Uh, the sticker says five or three bucks. Uh, this is just a recycled sleeve that I used, uh, and I couldn't peel this off cleanly, so I just left it. Uh, but once again, on the Parlophone label, the uh, Made in Great Britain uh, is an absolutely fantastic, beautiful, clean, has the inserts, um, 2014 repress. I bought these all sealed back in the day, and um, it seems that these 2014 mono presses might have been the last time we got a big press of Beatles and mono. And they sound fantastic. They're brilliantly pressed. Uh, no damage. I would pull this out, but just for time's sake, I'm going to keep it in. Um, but I have a lot of these 2014 mono presses. Um, these, this is an immaculate copy of Sgt. Pepper's. It absolutely does the original album a justice. Uh, there's no doubt. My next one is a very interesting find here. Um, I'm, I'm not sure really how common this is. Um, it's the Holland uh, Press of Help with the Beatles, um, with the shell, you know? Um, I know that there's been a couple different pressings of the shell, but this happens to be the picture disc. Um, I bought this quite a long time ago. I'm not even sure how much I paid. Um, I am in the market to get rid of this. So if any, somehow, if anybody watching this video wants to grab this, I'm looking to sell it. Um, but it, it's great. It's in absolutely mint shape, and I just had to buy it. I just think, I, you know, I think it's really cool seeing a Beatles with the shell. I think it might possibly be a bootleg or an unofficial release. Um, but, I mean, it is just so unbelievably cool um, to just see the Beatles with uh, a gas station, you know? 
the Beatles sell out. Um, it's cool though. Sound, it actually sounds pretty good for a picture disc. And Help is one of my favorite albums, so I had to had to grab it. Next up, uh, we have a really nice and beat up copy of the Beatles' second album. Uh, as I stated in my previous video, it is tough. It is tough to get clean U.S. albums. Um, this is the rare gatefold edition. Gatefold edition. Uh, it's a really beat up copy. It does play. Uh, it's on the has the original sleeve, and it's on the original um, kind of uh, rainbow capital. But as you can just see, it has a lot of wear on it. I've tried cleaning it. It just you can't clean scratches. Um, but you know, I got it for like a dollar. But a reprint of these would be awesome. This is a mono pressing, I believe, because it has the T instead of the ST for the catalog number. Um, but, you know, when you see these, it's just a cool piece of history to get some Beatles stuff, you know? Come on. Next up, uh, this is another 2014 repress, I believe, and it is of Let It Be. Once again, killer, killer, clean, glossy cover. I mean, just amazing. So glossy that you get fingerprints on it a little bit. I got to clean those off. Um, but this one um, is a little contradictory to the original release because it is on Green Apple. Uh, Apple. Green Apple. So then I'm thinking of Capital here. I got a lot of Beatles rolling around the head. Um, but I would love to get an original on the Red Apple label instead of the Green. Um, but once again, as I said, if you see these 2014 presses, they sound so good. Honestly, they sound so good. Um, you just got to do it. I really like them. That's the stereo, obviously. I don't think there's ever a mono press of um, Let It Be. No, I don't think so. But yeah, uh, great sounding album. They do a hell of a job repressing those. Um, next one is The Beatles 6. Come on. This is actually a pretty decent copy. Pretty decent. Um, not a little seam splitting, but yeah, it says I paid 15 for it. Um, this is a cool American album. I think it's interesting because it's like a very bland cover for the Beatles. Um, but it sounds okay. It's a mono. Um, I would assume it's on the yep rainbow cap. And the, you can see this one's a bit cleaner. Um, it still only sounds all right. The, the, like I said, the U.S. albums just don't all sound that great. Um, but some of the original mono masters of some of these songs are absolutely killer. And I would love to see them repressed. But for now, we got to reap it a little bit. Next one um, is Songs and Pictures of the Fabulous Beatles. I picked this up for a buck. I believe it's on VJ Records. Yeah, it is. Not very clean. Uh, and even though it is okay and shape-wise, it sounds terrible. But um, it is real Beatles songs. I think this is just a variant bootleg of Please Please Me, I believe. Um, there's a lot of bootlegs of, you know, Please Please Me and Introducing the Beatles. Um, and this is kind of just one of them. I believe the original one came with, like, pictures and stuff. Um, obviously it would be songs and pictures, but this one has nothing. Uh, but for a dollar, picking up, uh, anything that's real Beatles songs, it's kind of just cool. Um, maybe something I'd be willing to get rid of at some point, but I have it for now. Next up, nice bootleg, once again, introducing the Beatles. Uh, this one has seen some action, pretty beat, um, and does have some writing on it, as you can see right there. But I paid seven for it, and it's actually in pretty clean shape. Um, this is just, I, I just think this picture and this cover of the Beatles is absolutely freaking hilarious, seeing the Beatles like this. I don't know why, it just has this like tan hue overtone, and it, it's just so ironic compared to like this stuff that the Beatles would later release, you know, with their awesome album covers, but then they just have this and Ringo looks like he kind of has to take a dump. I don't know. I just think it's funny, but it's a classic piece for anybody's collection, really. I don't need to say too much more about it. Uh, another US, we're cranking out the US albums here. And um, this is Meet the Beatles. Uh, I think, I, yeah, I paid 15 for this. It's a mono and, um, it actually sounds pretty good. I really can't complain. Um, I really like this one. Uh, for a U.S. album, it's it's in decent shape. A little bit white yet on the back there. Definitely worth the 15. Um, I do like the way with the Beatles is set up more the U.K. Uh, compared to Meat. 
I don't think there's any UK album by the Beatles that um, I don't like more than the US. The US are cool and, you know, interesting, but there's something about the um, the UK ones that are just great. But here's Meat, you know? Great, nice copy. Um, here's another US. I think we're almost through my US blocks here, and then we'll start getting onto some more UK stuff. Um, Beetle 65, another mono press. I didn't, I don't think I realized how many of these were in mono um, until I did this video. This one's seen some action. I actually had to tape it up myself just because it was so shredded. Um, but this plays okay. I actually really like the cover of this one. This might be my favorite um, cover for the US albums besides The Butcher. The Butcher is just so iconic. Uh, but this is a nice album. It has an okay, um, you know, set list. It's it's a little bit of Beatles for Sale and some singles. Um, like I said, the set lists, um, I guess not set list, the, the, the track list of the US albums just I don't think is as good and as cohesive as the UK. But, you know, maybe someone would disagree. Drop it in your comments. All right. So here's one more. <laughs> one more US. I think I might have some more. This one's pretty falling apart at the seams. Um, but it is A Hard Day's Night. A uh, really cool time for the Beatles. Um, this has a little bit of the score. Just like not actual like orchestra stuff like Yellow Submarine had. But this has the... Uh, instrumental and vocal versions of certain songs featured in the movie. So if you're looking for a movie companion, this is the closest thing you're going to get. This is the U.S. Um, kind of Hard Day's Night. Um, but really interesting. I love the portraits on the back. That's very similar to how they would be used on the U.K. release. And I think this is really cool um, because this is the Beatles on U.A., United Artists. Uh, this is actually a pretty clean copy for how bad the record shape is, or the sleeve shape is in. This is a really nice copy. Um, I probably won't ever upgrade from this. Um, really, really cool album. I listen to it a lot. This is a uh, U.S. album that I can actually stand. I really don't hate it too much. I don't think it's that bad. Um, but, you know, it's all right. It's all right. All right, next one we have, um, this is a later release for the Beatles, but uh, if you're it, really big into collecting, you'll probably have this one, Beatles Live at the Hollywood Bowl. I grabbed this for 10 bucks. Really nice shape, actually. Great uh, insert here, and it has a beautiful disc capital. It just needs a little bit of cleaning up. I actually bought this not too long ago, um, but there's a little ring wear, but overall, nice copy. Um, this is definitely not an album of the Beatles you're going to listen to for high fidelity because um, the Beatles mania is just unbelievable in the background. I mean, really, if you listen to it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, it's definitely just something cool to collect, you know, just something really nice. And it's kind of just a cool novelty to throw on. Another U.S. album we're getting through here is a nice mono yesterday and today. Not a butcher by any means. Um, but it's, it's nice. It's cool. Uh, rainbow cap. Once again, I don't need to show you. I actually, as much as I think the butcher is cool, I think this is actually a really cool cover too. Um, it's just kind of random and George Harrison is wearing maybe quite possibly the biggest tie of all time. It looks, I mean, honestly, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Um, but this is a cool album. I do like the set list cause it has some, you know, psychedelic stuff. And it's kind of changed around with um, Rubber Soul and Revolver. And my next two are going to be those albums. They're going to be the U.S. Here is the U.S. Rubber Soul. This is a absolutely brilliant mono copy I have. I paid 20 for it. Mono Rubber Soul. Um, I can't complain. It's absolutely brilliant copy. Oh, my dog just entered the room. Um, anyway... Rubber Soul, great. Once again, Rainbow Cap, beauty. And then I gotta find it here, but I'll just do it now since it's part of the video. Sorry about that, got a little interrupted there. Here's my US Revolver to go with the Yesterday and Today and the US Rubber Soul. Uh, this is a nice copy. It's a mono. Uh, I paid a little bit for it, but honestly, it's actually in decent shape for an original Revolver. Uh, so really, what can you say? It's a great little thing. Um, finishing up, 
the um, U.S. albums. This might be my last one. It's a decent copy of Hey Jude. Cover seen somewhere. The record sounds okay. It's somewhat clean. I paid 10 bucks for it. But um, I think it's a cool one, man. It's, it's a really just unique cover. And it has quite an interesting mix excuse me, of songs that you don't really get on any other release unless you get, like, one or, like, the Red and the Blue albums. Cool stuff. Um, we're gonna get out of order a little bit here and kind of go back in time, uh, but the last one for this pile is uh, Yellow Submarine. This is an original, and it is in really rough shape. It is, uh, it kind of has a centered warp on it, has a little bit of candle wax on the cover, um, but it does play. It's actually somewhat enjoyable to listen to. I don't think it's the best press of all time, but um, if you have a record weight, it will really level this thing out. Uh, but yeah, I think it's just such a cool cover. And the score on side two, I actually think is really neat. Uh, something cool that they put in. Uh, I would love to get a new copy of this. And this is a stereo. I would love to get a mono if they're available. I believe they are, but I could be wrong. I'm not... I have a lot of Beatles, and I know a lot of Beatles, but this, I'm not, you know, the Beatles expert. Some people have entire channels devoted to the Beatles. That is not I. Um, uh, one more. We have a stereo Beatles press of Sgt. Pepper's. Sorry, I'm kind of mincing my words here. I'm trying to watch the time because I don't know how much space I have on my phone. No inserts, decent copy, some spine chewing. Uh, but the record itself, I actually have in a MoFi sleeve because it's actually a really, really clean record. Um, a buddy of mine had some records and he was moving and he was like, I don't have the space for these. So he ended up giving me a bunch of records for super cheap and this was one of them. And this is my prized possession. I'll never sell it because of the history with it. So that's all for one pile. I got another pile here that I kind of started going through, but not really. Uh, to start it off, we have another UK mono pressing of revolver now this is the pressing you want this is that once again the 2014 remaster reissue um they sound immaculate i love them they sound so good parlophone heavyweight vinyl beautiful sleeve uh these mono pressings come with a little certificate inside to say the beatles and mono uh, it's just really cool um i can't really say enough about it i love revolver it's probably my favorite beatles album same token we have a, this is actually a stereo release of the White Album. I really like the White Album and stereo. I would like to get this same pressing in a mono, um, but that time has passed um, because they are no longer that available like they were when I got this. This was right around my 16th birthday when these came out. Maybe, uh, maybe younger than that. Uh, that wouldn't make sense. Uh, but anyway, um, I I've got this a long time ago. I've been collecting this a long time. Absolutely brilliant copy. Uh, two vinyl, obviously, uh, came with the posters and the, like, photos. I have it all framed. I have them hanging up, actually. Um, but this is a great copy of the White Album. A nice stereo, absolutely fantastic sound on it. And I believe this is the 2014 reprint. Uh, next one, you've actually seen this in a different video of mine. And this is my original master copy of Magical Mystery Tour. I uh, can't say enough good about it. It is uh, just immaculate. It sounds great. The cover is a little damaged, but I scored this thing for the low price of 25 bucks. Super, super clean disc. Uh, I really just cannot say enough good about this. I, I love the original Masters. I would love to keep collecting these. Um, I've talked to some people. I believe uh, Melinda in the vinyl community. I've talked to her about some of the Beatles original masters and just they are absolutely immaculate i want to keep collecting them i really want to try to get the abbey road one but you know money's tight and they are increasingly expensive so whatever next one i have is um another magical mystery tour this is a cheap uh u.s copy um but it has the original booklet fully intact and actually the artwork the cover is actually in really nice shape. The record's okay, but I got this for like three or one, one or three dollars. Um, and it's actually a decent copy, so I'm gonna hold on to it. And lastly, for Magical Mystery Tour, we have the 2014 mono remaster of it. Uh, this is on really heavyweight vinyl, and the booklet is built right into it. 
Uh, sounds fantastic. This was actually the first Beatles record I bought. I didn't even know what mono versus stereo was when I bought this, but luckily I scooped up the mono press uh, and it sounds absolutely fantastic. I have played this rec record a, a dozen, dozen, dozens of times and um, I love it. It's so cool just to see it. So I have three copies of that. That's probably the Beatles album I have the most copies of, um, but you know what? That's okay. Next one, we have a pretty chewed copy of the Beatles Red album. I have yet to score the blue one. I am um, really in the market for the blue, um, but you know I don't see it for quite the right price because I usually don't buy like greatest hit compilation albums, but since it's the Beatles and I'm a true Beatles collector, um, I want to, I really want to. Um, but this one's a little chewed. It does play, I got it for five bucks. Um, the gatefold's in pretty rough shape. The seams are split, but it's in a sleeve, and you know what? It's scratchy, but still, the Beatles. Um, just a few more. I'm gonna get this one out of the way first, then we'll talk about some really nice ones. This is a Beater number copied, pretty stained up, uh, copy of the White Album. No inserts. Um, it does look okay. Uh, it's just so yellowed and ring-worn. Um, the records are in decent shape. I have played it a few times on apple here um i paid six bucks for this i know some people that watching this video might be floored that i can find these beatles albums for so cheap but um it is long and few in between you know i i'm not going out every time and finding six dollar white albums that play and are in decent shape um it's just i've been collecting quite some time and i'm always looking for beatles so i kind of just find them through time um, but this is a decent copy, and I want, I only bought this really because I like the numbered copies, uh, and I wanted it for my collection. So we got three more. Um, here they are. Beatles Help in Mono, 2014. Still shrinked up with the hype sticker. It is open, because I believe in opening your records, even if they're rare. Open them, play them. I hate sealed records, especially after time, because you have no idea what kind of shape it could be in there. Um, but... I've kept this in immaculate shape. This is a made in Germany press, I suppose. Uh, Parlophone, once again, mono, sounds absolutely amazing. Um, I kept these all shrinked up because um, it's just, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. They're just immaculate copies and you gotta take care of them. Next one, once again, same thing, 2014 mono press, shrink, um, and it is Hard Day's Night. Just immaculate. Hype sticker. Played it just a few times. Um, I, I do play my records, but I have good equipment and proper tracking, so it doesn't do them any damage. But these are getting increasingly expensive. I have them on my Discogs, and it seems every time I sort by max, it's one of these. Probably sealed, but the Sgt. Pepper has gone for a lot of money, and I did not pay that much for it. Um, but this is just so cool. Great reissue. I'm not a huge reissue guy, but these Beatles reissues are awesome. And here's the last one of my Beatles collection. This is the final piece. This was a pretty long video. Um, it is the Beatles Mono Please Please Me. Not in shrink. I bought this so long ago, I didn't know anything about shrink, but it's of the same relation to these. Um, this sounds great. This sounds absolutely great. I do not like this album in stereo. It uh, The recent stereo and the ones that they have on Spotify sound terrible. It's like half instruments on one side and the other half on the other, and it just does not sound good at all. Um, but this one, this mono press sounds fantastic. Um, 2014, like I said, uh, it has this mono certificate in it, and it's just immaculate. These glossy, beautiful covers really just preserve the history of the Beatles. Um, I just think they're immaculate. Anyway, guys, go ahead, comment what Beatles albums you have, if you have anything rare, if you have anything crazy, any UK releases, especially UK originals, they are so cool. Um, I will drop some, you know, some suggestions in the comments. Um, thank you all for watching. That is my whole Beatles collection. I don't believe I'm missing any, but I have records everywhere, so I never know if I have one, you know, somewhere that I was listening to, but I think that's all of them. Um, I'm still looking to collect more. I would love some UK originals and to finish up my uh, just UK totally in general. I'm still missing a UK rubber sole and it would be with the Beatles because the meat, I believe, is the US and I need the with. But then I think that should cover pretty much everything. But anyway, enjoy yourself. Have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next video.